So let's move on from volumes and ventricles and let's go to see how to acquire a nice image of uh, the mitral valve. As I'm going to show you valve, I don't care if I'm foreshortened. So I have to go to a four chamber view and uh, uh, acquire the best image that I can see the valves. So for example here, I can see that my mitral valve is seen very well. So I have two options. The first option is to press large. You can see that by default my machine goes to multi-slice, so I press the multi-slice button. I always use HD Live because I like it more. And as you can see in this view, I already have a view of mitral valve and tricuspid valve. As the leaflets of tricuspid valve are a bit thin, you can see that we have dropout artifacts of the tricuspid valve. But in order to acquire uh, our mitral valve, then what do I have to do? First, I have to decrease the volume size. I only want my mitra valve to be inside my volume. So that way, you can see that my frame rate increased to 36 with a nice special resolution. If I want to increase my special resolution, what do I have to do? Decrease the frame rate. In this view, I can remove some 2D gains in order to have a clear view of the mitra valve. I can acquire this image or I can decrease the frame rate more 27, 19, 10. 10 is the less, is the less uh, of um, uh, the frame rate that I, I, can, I can get. So right now I ask my patient to hold his breath and acquire a multi-bit acquisition. So, mean and pace. I press multi bit. If the patient has um, ectopic bits, like now, then we can stop the multi bit acquisition. We can give him some moments to relax. And then Try again. Mos. Press again multi bit. Anasenis canonica. If I have stitching artifact, then that means that either the patient does not hold his breath as we want or I don't hold my hand very stable. So I can try again. Mm -hmm. So I go, I said either with large, let's go again with large. Decrease the volume size. Mean an apnase. Stop breathing and press multi bit. Anasense canonica. So that's better. And you can see. I have a better view a left ventricular view of the, this mitral valve and my frame rate is 51. The other way to acquire a mitral valve is to go with 4D zoom prepare. Before pressing 4D zoom prepare I have to adjust my 2D image in advance so I reduce the width 
I adjust the depth, but not very much. And then I press for the zoom prepare. I press, uh, I include the mitra valve and you see two boxes. In order to change box, we press trackball. Then we press again the button that we want to change the size and um, the position of this uh, small box. Then I press trackball again to go to the four chamber view. And if I like my image, I press the 4D button. So, right here we have a view of the mitra valve. What is wrong with that? You can see this brown line that is almost into the valve. So, I go with two click crop from the point that I want to show the, the valve towards from the left ventricle towards left atrium and I have this image. In order to have a better image of this valve I can decrease again the frame rate and then I ask my patient to hold his breath. In an apneis. Multi-bit acquisition. Okay, an ascens canonica. And then you can see that again we have a nice view of this uh, uh, mitra valve, and this was with 33 frames per second. I can increase my frame rate or I can increase my spatial resolution. For valves, we need to see anatomy so we need a good special resolution for volumes we need temporal resolution because we want to see the movement of the endocardium